So question 19b from the exam listed below, and this should be part of a playlist also, which you can find on my homepage. Now question 19b is the second part of the sequences question, and it states that the eighth term of the sequence is x to the power of a and y to the power of 13. The value of this term is negative. What does this mean about the values of x and y? Tick one box for each row. Then we have a box where you have x and y, and you must list them as positive, negative, or could be either. So let's start with the x first we have x to the power of 8. Now because it has an even power it can be a positive or negative value because it's always going to give a positive output. So for example if you have like x squared you would do negative 2 times negative 2 it's going to be positive 4. x to the power of 4 it'd be like negative 2 negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 because you have pairs of negatives they end up cancelling out so they always become a positive. So whether we put a positive or negative number as x it's always going to have a positive output. So for that reason we can't really control it so x can be positive or it can be negative so we tick could be either hopefully that makes sense hopefully that was clear now on line two of the question it says the value of this term is negative well we know x to the power eight is going to be positive so y to the power of 13 is going to have to be the negative part because we have a positive times a negative to make that negative final value now how do we make y to the power of 13 negative well if we put a positive value in it's going to give us a positive output because it'd be you know if we make y free it'd be three times itself 17 times it's still going to be a positive value but if we put a negative value in because it has an odd power it's going to give us a negative output for example if you had like y to the power of three and you put like minus five in it'd be negative five times negative five which will create a positive 25 and then it'd be a positive 25 times a negative five so it's going to bring out a negative 125 so if you have that odd power it's always going to create a negative if you put a negative into it Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that was clear. But for that reason, y must be negative. And just to summarize quickly, we want x to the power 8 to be a positive value and y to the power of 13 to be a negative value. And whenever you have x to the power of an even number, you're going to get a positive output no matter what. And when you have y to the power of an odd number, you're going to get a positive output if you put a positive input, but you will get a negative output if you put a negative input. Now, I appreciate that could have been a bit confusing or not clear. So leave any comments down below if it didn't make sense and thank you for watching the video best of luck with your maths and yeah thanks again for watching